Hi, uh, this is Rajat from EGMAT. I got a PM to respond to this question, so uh, I thought I'll chime in. Um, so first of all, this is a bold face question, and in a bold face question, there are a few things that uh, you need to worry about. The first thing is you need to identify what each of the individual bold face statements are. The second thing that you need to worry about is, is kind of the relationship that these bold face statements have to the, the conclusion of the argument or the author's conclusion. And then the third thing that we need to look at is, um, is, is, is basically the relationship between the bold face statements, whether one statement supports the other, whether both of them support the conclusion, both of them refute, and, and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Now, when you read the argument, it's, it's often very important to, to basically read the argument and kind of summarize what that statement is talking about. Also, uh, kind of make a mental map of the argument. So let's kind of do that. Museums that house Renaissance oil paintings typically store them in environments that are carefully kept with narrow margins of temperature and humidity to inhibit any deterioration. So this is kind of when you when you read this, this basically is, is a fact that is presented. This is something that is a, a practice that happens. So so that's kind of what you should have. That museums that house these Renaissance oil paintings are are, are um, keep paintings in in you know controlled environments. Laboratory tests have shown that the kind of oil paint used in these paintings actually adjusts to climatic changes quite well. If, as some museum directors believe, paint is the most sensitive substance in these net in these works, then by relaxing the standards for humidity and uh, uh, control, museums can reduce energy costs without risking damage to these these paintings. So, so let's look at this sentence. If, as some museum directors believe, paint is the most you know, sensitive substance. So, so basically, over here, the author is saying that you know, if you know uh, what museum museum directors believe is true, that paint is indeed the most sensitive substance. So, kind of the 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 the, the first boldface statement is is um, you could really say the museum director's opinion um, not that about about uh, you know what is the most sensitive sub substance in these works, um, and then you move on to the second boldface statement. So if if this is true then museums can reduce energy costs without risking damage to these paintings. So basically, if this is true, then museums can do this and there is some benefit out of it, which is uh, reducing energy costs. Okay, so we've covered both the bold face statements till, till this point. Then let's go on. Museums would, then the author goes on to really say, museums would be rash to relax these standards, however. So when you see the word, however, kind of is always uh, some sort of a contradiction, usually used for an objection also. Uh, so museums would be rash to relax those standards, however, since the results of preliminary tests indicate that Kesso, a compound routinely used by blah blah blah, is unable to withstand significant variations in, in, in humidity. So the last sentence is interesting because um, in the last sentence, the author is presenting his own opinion, where he's saying that that if based on 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 on, on the first bold face, if museums relax the standards, then it's uh, that that would not be correct because of another compound called gesso, um, which uh, which is not which which is quite sensitive to changes in, uh, in 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 humidity. Okay, so so basically, when you look at this, you see the first bold face and kind of leads to the second bold face. So that's kind of easy to get. The first bold face of paint is the most sensitive substance. This seems to be a logical conclusion out of out of that. Okay, now what is the first bold face in this case? It is the opinion of museums uh, directors. Okay. So with that, uh, 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 kind of let's kind of look at the answer choices, and I'll, I'll I'll kind of go through choice D, which is the correct answer in this case. Choice D says the first is a judgment that has been offered in support of the position that the argument calls into question. So kind of let's kind of reverse this this uh, uh, read this kind of reverse. So what is the position that the argument calls into question? Which is that's the second bold face. Now does the first support the second yes the first does support the second so it's offered in support now is the first a judgment it's the opinion of of museums directors or or, or, or it's their judgment again judgment is a word which which um, is, is kind of loosely used here it's not wrong to use a judgment because it's their belief it's their opinion or it's their judgment uh, that um, that paint is the most sensitive substance in these works so so choice d the first part is correct the second part, the second is this that position, which is basically the second goal phase as we've talked about. So choice D, what you really see is every aspect of choice D is correct. 
okay um let's kind of look at choice b which i think a lot of you have uh, kind of uh, referred to the first is the position taken by the argument now is the first a position taken by the argument no this is that that isn't the case the first is not a position taken by the argument the first is just the opinion of museum's director okay um, the second is the position that the argument calls into question. So the second is, is right. So this is a position that the argument takes and the argument calls uh, that, that position into question. The second part is right, but the first part is incorrect. So hence choice B is not, not true. So hopefully um, this would have helped. Uh, let me know if you have any questions.